Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to a Sunday reset. I have done a lot of errands so far as you guys could tell, but I just got back from the farmer's market over here. It's called like Eastern Market, um, but I got some produce just to get me through the week because I go back home in a week. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, so I just got back from there and I just threw my bed sheets in to the wash and stuff so I could get that done. I did a lot of like cleaning yesterday so I didn't have to do so much today because I knew I had a lot of homework and I had to do a lot of errands so I won't be doing a lot of cleaning today besides vacuuming. I do want to vacuum like the carpet but yeah so I wanted to bring you guys along fix my camera. I wanted to bring you guys along on my Sunday reset because it always just feels good to be productive on Sunday and like get prepared for the whole week and get ready. So I got a pomegranate. I really don't know how I'm going to cut it, but I wanted to get fruit for the week. And then I I bought, I didn't want to get a whole pack of bananas because I'm going to be gone in a week. So if I don't go through this, I know it's just going to get bad. So I bought one and like split half with my friend. So she got the other four and lemon for my water. And then I got like these three bagels um, to eat them for like breakfast or make like a sandwich with them. So that's all I got from the farmer's market. I love going to the farmer's market because it's so cheap to get produce. And then I ended up eating an almond croissant, which was delightful. But I didn't get coffee because I just didn't very picky with my coffee. So I'm just going to make some here while I kind of like clean my bed and stuff and then put my laundry. I forgot to show you guys, but I got these earrings at the farmer's market they're so pretty i like missing like my first piercing earrings and stuff so i just wanted to get something so my ears don't look as naked technical problem this is the camera i vlog with right no i dropped it and this is what happened it just does not turn on I'm vlogging with my phone right now, so quality bad, sorry. I don't know what to do. To vlog, like how I was like making this and my camera fell back from the counter and hit the ground really hard. So now it just won't turn on all because I wanted to show you guys how to make coffee. I'm not sure how well this vlog's gonna turn out. I wanna make a vlog for you guys, but it's gonna be on my phone so I could finish it. Um, yeah, so the quality is really bad. 
I apologize about it. But right now, I'm just gonna like get to the load of my laundry, put it away, and then work on some homework so I could get that done and then start meal prepping. I apologize again for the quality. I haven't filmed on my phone like a while and stuff, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to film on my phone until I can get my camera fixed or unfortunately if I have to get a new camera, but that's not really in the budget right now. This coffee cup just spills everywhere. I just washed these pans and I just spilled coffee on it, right? But yeah, so I just, hopefully cross fingers, I could get this just screen fix and it's not expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just pop in music and knock this out. I only need like a page left, which is honestly, it's not that bad. And then review it, do readings for this week. Cause I want to do like less homework this week. So then next weekend I could just kind of relax and then just get ready to go like home and then go home. So yeah, I'm going to do that now and then grab my laundry in like maybe 30 minutes, eat lunch and continue with myself. It's like supposed to be my reset day and it started with my camera breaking. So it's a flop, but can't really control it otherwise like my whole week's been pretty good and like today's been i wanted to wake up earlier but i did not i also went to bed pretty late so that did not help but yeah so i'm gonna just get to this and we'll see if i can grab my sheets i totally forgot about them in the dryer but they're so nice and warm i just want to like go all underneath it but i'm gonna go make my bed really quick and then get back i'm like almost done with so i finally Finally finished my notes and then I'm about to turn in my paper. I just need to double check like my readings and all that stuff. But after I'm done turning this in and then I have to do questions for this class, I'm probably gonna start meal prepping for this week. I'm like trying to look through meal preps this week because I didn't buy a lot of groceries since I'm leaving in less than a week or maybe like a week. Um, so I didn't want to buy a lot of stuff since I'll be gone for like a week and a few days. I didn't want anything to get bad. So I'm looking for like salads I can make during the week and then as well as for dinner. Because normally during the weekend I'll go out to eat. So I just kind of need it to get me through the week. I might make a Greek salad. So one week, this week I'm gonna make teriyaki thing for my lunch and dinner tomorrow because I have leftover chicken like pretty much like two strips so I want to make that with the rice I have and then tonight I'm eating salmon and then earlier I said I was making Greek salad for lunch this week and then I have like a lot of ramen much what I have left to do today is my other class reading and then I need to make my LSAT calendar um, so I can start getting ready and study again. Um, it's crazy because I would have taken the LSAT this weekend. And I know I was not going to be ready at all. So I'm definitely glad I withdrew the LSAT. But I can't whack myself and to not study at all anymore. So I need to just keep going because it is towards the end. Almost towards the end of November. So I need to keep the pace going and just pretend like... I'm gonna take the test next month and just keep going the pace. So that's why I want to make my calendar so I could just continue studying. And I'm hoping by the end of this month, I could shoot up to 150 and then just keep going up from there. But it just honestly really depends on my discipline and like how I want to like go, how I'm like strengthening and like what I'm focusing on and just really putting that dedication for the LSAT. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to do like another video talking more about um, this because I just realized I have not really put in a video out about what I'm doing with the LSAT. So I guess you guys are going to see this before me talking about it. But probably once I go home in a week, I might like sit down and like do a proper video because I had one filmed and I really, really did not like the um, how it turned out and stuff. So... 
I will talk about that more when I get it there with updates because you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about the LSAT and yeah um, but I guess maybe I should just tell you guys a little bit now that I'm sitting here but again I'll probably make a full video about it like what am I doing what's my plans but I did decided probably like three weeks ago and I know it's bad because I haven't really uploaded but three weeks ago I withdrew from the LSAT and I decided to take a gap year and I will not be going to law school next year fall 2022 which sounds so crazy but I will be hopefully going to law school fall 2023. Again, I'm going to talk more about this like in a whole other video. I don't want to go, I don't want to make this whole video about the LSAT and stuff. So I just want to tell you guys because I know I haven't. You guys are probably wondering if the ones who are like following with my journey about like, oh, what she's doing with the LSAT and stuff. Um, yeah, that's my update. I made that this hard decision and I know it's kind of like, a lot of stuff but again I'm, I'm like trying to talk about it but I don't want to talk about it because I want that in its own video but yeah so that's life update I probably do a video about like life updates live updates soon and whatnot but I'm probably gonna start making dinner soon because my salmon's finally thawing um my connection here sucks horribly really bad so I can't turn in my paper but yeah I'm gonna probably start making dinner soon so then I could do my other readings and then finish meal prepping for the week and then probably start packing start cooking dinner this is the salmon I'm gonna use but I'm not a big salmon person but I want to get rid of it so I think I'm gonna do the soy glazed salmon and because this looks pretty good and then I have rice right here and normally I freeze my rice so I could like have it longer but I think I'm gonna use that um and hopefully it tastes good because then if I have anything left over I use it for like dinner so this is my dinner this is how the salmon turned out I hopefully I cooked it right and then I put soy sauce onto the rice while my salmon's cooking I'm going to make Overnight oats, I just had like these, this one from like Trader Joe's, but I don't really like them because they're not really sweet, so I like overnight oats better, and um, I normally do overnight oats, especially when the banana's not completely ripe, because it just makes it a little bit more squishy, so I use oat milk, banana, and this is like my banana nut bread, like overnight oats, and then cinnamon. Normally I put chocolate chips on there, but I don't have any right now, so this will be just the ingredient. Overnight oats help so much to being like prepared for breakfast in the morning because then I don't have to rush making anything and I normally always try to make breakfast. So I have this in the fridge for overnight and then they're normally good for like one or two days. Okay, so pretty much finished making my lunch, finished meal prepping, clean the kitchen, and finish my LSAT like calendar prep so I'm gonna get ready for bed I'm gonna work on like uh, editing this video um looking up volunteer work so the rest I kind of have my schedule I'm gonna do the rest of the night right now I believe it's eight so it's still kind of early because I don't go to bed till later but I might try to go to bed earlier because I want to start getting the momentum of waking up early like six o'clock instead of seven um, cause I just feel like I get more things done when I wake up early, but that also means I need eight hours of sleep. So I want to go to bed earlier. Um, but pretty much what I have, I just wrote it down in my little post-it note cause I kind of filled in my spot on my planner, but pretty much just make lunch, which I did and then edit this video. So I have it ready for you guys by tomorrow. Um, work on my ponce for my class and then look into volunteer work, read, and then obviously get ready for bed. I was going to pack today, but I figured I'll just wait till maybe Saturday night or Sunday, probably definitely Sunday because I don't have anything to do. So then I could just do a load of laundry of what I need to bring back home and then just be ready for flying, um, for me to come back home. But yeah, I'll probably just like not talk in the last bit of this video 
because I'll just be getting ready for bed. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize for the quality halfway. You guys will tell the difference halfway of this video. My camera broke, which I'm so upset, but hopefully I can get it fixed by the time I come back from Thanksgiving break. Um, so meanwhile, quality wise might not be the greatest, but I'll try to do my best to record for you guys and put good videos out there. But yeah, I'm going to start getting to my PJs and do my skincare and get ready to go into bed.